Okay, so what is 66 and 2 over 3 as a fraction in simplest terms? Okay, so throw back to middle school. If you have a mixed number, so this is 66 and you have 2 over 3, right? Typically when you're trying to simplify fractions, it's easier when they're in, where, when, sorry. If you want to simplify fractions, right? It's easier for you to simplify them when they're expressed in improper fractions or you only have a numerator and a denominator. Because in here, you do have a whole number, right? Because that's why it's called a mixed number, right? It's because you have a fraction and you have a whole number. So maybe we can express this in terms of just a fraction. So you would have to multiply 3 times 66, right? So 66 times 3. And then you need to add that to 2, right? So that's plus 2 to give you your new numerator. So this is just going to be 200, right? So how do I get 200 again? I have to multiply 3 times the whole number, 66 plus 2, I get 200. So that's my new numerator. And then for my denominator, whatever is coming from the mixed number, that's just going to be the same thing. So it's going to be 200 over 3. So as you can see, you cannot simplify 203, or in other words, there's no other number that is divisible to both except 1. Therefore, you cannot simplify 200 over 3 even further. So that's why, um, yeah, in simplest terms, you can even say that this is simplified already or 200 over 3. So. Let's see what they wrote. Okay, so they're trying to say that in order for you to write a mixed number into fraction form, we first need to see what the denominator is to see what proportion it divides the number into. In this case, the denominator is 3, and this tells us that the number we need to find is divided into thirds and has a remainder of 2 over 3. Okay, so my in my opinion, just multiply this, add this to 2, you get the numerator. Simple as that. Then it says, so we have 66 whole parts and 2 over 3 of a whole part. Now we need to find which number when divided by 3 equals 66. Okay, so they're, yeah, they're pretty much trying to do 198 divided by 3. Again, there's going to be multiple ways to find the improper fraction, but because you want to make sure you're as efficient as possible, pick any method that works for you so but this is still right 200 over 3 so okay so solution is correct